Uh, Kevin Sheedy, why a partnership with CFA? Why is that important to the Essen Football Club and the Geelong Football Club? Oh, I think from the game point of view and uh, with the country uh, and the farmers, uh, to me, I think the defence of um, basically the properties and lives around around the uh, countryside of uh, not only Victoria but also Australia um, needs to have more recognition, I think. I think that, uh, you know, when I look back and uh, all, of, all of what I've seen happen over uh, the last 20, 30 years, I reckon that the, um, the CFA have been sensational. I think that they're very courageous. The volunteers from all over the country, towns and cities have been uh, always there backing each other up and, of course, um, and obviously also go and help in Tasmania when needed. So I think it's a great partnership opportunity there for both the game um, of these two clubs, obviously, uh, the Cats and the, and the Bombers and, um, and the group that, that uh, holds a significant amount of courage because you have to be very courageous to go into the areas where they need to be to, to protect a lot of people's homes and properties and lives. So, so you're getting 250 volunteers to march around the G. That's a big honour for our people. Why'd you do that? Well, I think they deserve it. I mean, I'm only trying to do things and put things in place uh, on behalf of the Essendon Footy Club to make our, uh, our society look at how we do live, all the things that are necessary to have it safe and, and safe uh, workplace for our families. Uh, the people that actually do that will be the people that will be marching. Uh, we can't get everybody out there, obviously, otherwise the MCC groundsmen would complain. But, um, but I think in the end, uh, we know that uh, the great opportunity presents itself like Anzac Day and Dreamtime at the G, is that this is another area where we need to have a look at what the pillars of our, our society are, and that is that um, if we work together, we have a safer uh, country to live in. And I think that that's what some of these games can really do. They can actually get people together, educate our young people to understand that it takes a hell of a lot to run an island like mm. Australia. Mm. Tell us a bit about the country game. I mean, a lot, a lot of, well, the CFA comes from the country, a lot of good footy players that come from the country. Why is it important that you have this country game this, uh, to, to recognise the country in regional rural Victoria? Well, I think for so long they haven't been recognised. Uh, I think to myself, you know, if you want to pick your greatest countryside out of Victoria, I've been over in South Australia trying to pick theirs, and uh, and it is very, very difficult. Um, um, right at this moment, we've just had a three-hour selection, uh, pick an Essendon's greatest ever team out of the country for our fans to go on the website to actually pick their best side. I mean, obviously, you look at Dana Hurt family, you look at, obviously, John Coleman, Roger Merritt, these sorts of great players, Wayne Gadeen, Michael Long. All over Australia, we have a lot of magnificent country players come out and play here at the MCG. Um, a lot of them actually uh, uh, sort of built the game to what it is, and uh, we should actually thank those clubs, the football and netball clubs right around the whole of Australia, for helping produce that standard, like the greatest goal kicker ever, Tony Lockett, country. That, that sort of thing. Hayden Button and Hayden Button Jr. won uh, more Sandovers and, and Brownlow medals than anybody else in the whole of Australia yep. uh, from Albury. I mean, so I think we've got to pay that respect to a lot of these clubs. And um, the best way to do it, I think, is to celebrate a game. And just finally, who's going to win? I think there's a fair chance Geelong are really going to really push Essendon to get there and we'll just jump over them in the last quarter. Okay. <laughs> Kevin Chetty, thank you very much.